What's going on, Brosif? Let's do a little ECM blower motor troubleshooting. I finally got to pull a bad one out of an air handler on Thursday. I was on call. Joker was iced up with two inches of ice. It would happen to be a bad motor. So this is the bad one, and this is a good one. A good motor I took out of the box. And I can show you real quick how to tell if you have a bad module or if the motor is bad just by using process of elimination. So real easy. All right, the first thing you're gonna have to do is pull the module off, off the back of the motor. It's just two screws, one on each side, one here, one here. Just pull it off, set it out of the way. If the motor's acting goofy or if it's not working, and then set the your voltmeter to ohms, the little horseshoe symbol right there. That's our ohms. Let's see if I can get it in the shot so we can see the numbers here. i use this bottle so the motor don't roll around on me. All right, so let's do the bad one first. All of the numbers should be equal when I test the terminal here. So we'll go far left and middle. This is the bad one, so it might get goofy. 5.7, that's the far left and the middle. Let's do the middle and the far right. Ah, see how they're not the same? 1.6 on the middle and the far right. Now let's do the far right and the far left. Let me try to focus here. 5.7. So there you go. The numbers are not matching. That's how I would know that it's a bad motor. Now if they were all the same, I would just Replace the module, two screws, plug or uh, screw the new one in, and you're done. Easy fix on that one. Motor was a little more challenging. So again, far left and middle. 5.6, 5.7-ish. Middle and far right. 1.5, 1.6. Come on, camera focus. These Canon cameras are having a hard time focusing. And far left and far right. That should be 5.6 again or somewhere around there. Yep, so numbers aren't matching. You got a bad motor skid, bro. Now, let's go to the good one and I'll show you what it's supposed to look like when you show up. So, this is the bad one. Go ahead and get it out of the way. All right, now we got the good ECM motor. This is how you know if it's good. You do the same as the other one, far left and middle terminals. Get your butt in there. Twenty-two ohms. Thing is rolling on me. Twenty-two ohms, far left and middle. Middle and far right. 21, 22. So we're still good. Remember, they all have to be the same. And now let's do far left and far right terminals. 22. So that's how you know the motor is good and you have a bad module. That's when I would replace the module and it fires up. So far, so good. I'm batting a thousand when I do this, just using the process of elimination. Yeah, so the one I took out is one of those Gen Tech X13s. And also, this doesn't spin freely. Thing is locked up. That's also how I knew. It's pretty obvious. You know, this spins pretty freely just by flicking it with my thumb and index finger. Can't do that with this one. So, that's another telltale sign of a bad motor that I used besides doing the meter. This is what John Stone gave me, in case you're wondering what I went back with. They said, oh, I got a universal ECM replacement. I mean, I prefer to go back with what's in there. Give me a Gentech X13, big dog. Three quarter, but they said this will work, and it's that was Thursday. Today is Saturday. I'm on call, and so far, so good. So, yeah, in case you guys wondering what I went back in there with, Easy 13 Universal ECM Replacement. All right, guys, things are heating up. The videos are going to start pumping out a lot of HVAC stuff. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.